I remember, Hollis, the first time we met, we were riding along, and I just remember thinking in my mind that this is special. And the reason why I knew it was special was because, Reed, it was the way you looked at Hollis. And I know that sounds cliche, but the way you looked at her was so creepy. <laughs> I mean, I've never seen anything like it, guys. Today is Saturday, October 19th. We're here for Hollis and Reed's wedding. Today's Hollis's wedding! We are at the Chicago Hilton on Michigan Avenue. Hollis was emceeing an event that I was in attendance at. I'm on stage looking at the crowd and I see this big guy with like a cowlick hair, a flannel shirt, and his foot is sticking into the aisle. So I noticed him immediately. She tells a funny story about kind of noticing me and I was sitting next to a friend and he goes, oh yeah, that's Hollis. She's a Cubs fan, you gotta meet her. And I was like, yes I do. A couple weeks later, she came to a place where I was working and we ran into each other again and I introduced myself. So, that was cool. Barth gets branded. Hashtag Barth gets branded. Reed is just the ultimate G. He's just so kind and gentle and like a total blast at the same time. There's a spontaneity about him. He's fun, he's light. Just an amazing person. His personality radiates. He is infectious. Reed's one of the most genuine guys I know, and he's always been a great friend. The most important thing to me that he is, is somebody who makes my sister happy. Reed has been such a gift to Hollis and just has loved her so well, so we love Reed. He was the happiest baby I'd ever known. But better than that, he grew up to be a person who brings happiness to other people. He lives and loves generously. Just like an all-around good dude. I love the dude to death, and I'm so glad that he's going to be my future brother-in-law. Hollis is very outgoing. I think Hollis is fun-loving, and she's been a great match for Reed. She makes Reed better, and he makes her better. It's a good fit. Her personality, her attitude, her spunk. She's ridiculously talented. She's an amazing human. Her authenticity. She's really genuine, and she's just herself. She takes no prisoners. She's like fully herself 100% of the time. She's always been like the funniest girl in the room, the most eloquently speaking. Hollis is one of the most colorful people I know. She's hilarious, she's poetic, she's wild. <laughs> My sister is just an absolute woman of honor and power. I mean, talk about a beautiful and wise lady, like that is Hollis to a T. She's epic. She's of legendary proportions. Her energy, her personality, what she pours into everybody else around her is unfathomable. <laughs> All right, we're gonna bring this back home. You think they'll let us on the flight? Nailed it. <laughs> Guys! <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Does that fit? Yeah. I told her to get ready for a brunch date. We got in the car and I took this little winding back road that runs about a mile behind our house in Franklin, Tennessee. I had asked her if I could get a photo at like one of our favorite spots on the road told her to turn around, got down on one knee and pulled the ring out and I said, how's this one? She was really surprised and it was a beautiful moment.
I think immediately I was attracted to Hollis's confidence. I love the way that she carries herself. She is incredibly charming and charismatic, and she makes me want to be the best version of myself. I can't wait till we see her. I just can't wait to be with her. I'm really excited to see Reed. I can't wait to be on the bus with him. I think any nervousness I have now, which I do, is gonna fade away when I see him, so I'm ready for that. Feel. Huh? You did not throw up. <laughs> Baby, your dress is unbelievable. You look beautiful. We are in the Garfield Park Conservatory, blocks away from where we grew up. Growing up on the near west side was pretty impactful. It's a pretty tough neighborhood. The conservatory is nestled in the neighborhood. And so this wedding is a chance for me to show people what my life has been like. The place where she was raised has really like made her who she is. To go back to that space is really special and being amongst all the natural beauty of the flowers and the greenery is, just feels right to us. We love being outdoors. We love being out in nature. And this is just an extension of that. So, pretty special. I'm really excited to see Hollis walk down the aisle. I think it's just gonna be very emotional and very happy. This is the happiest time for our family. We have a new daughter today. Our son's never been happier. And we're just so glad to see these two people come together. They're meant to be, it's a godsend. Reed, I'm happy that you've met the woman who completes you. I wish you guys the most joyous life. Man, I want to say keep the spark alive. You guys are fucking amazing and I can't wait to see what you two create together. The one thing I told our photographer was to make sure, try and get a shot from behind me, looking at her coming down the aisle. I never want to forget what that looks like and what I'm going to be feeling. It's going to be surreal. everyone and welcome. What a beautiful place. What a wonderful thing that we're celebrating tonight. And this is a merger of two amazing families. The California Chicago Barths and the Mississippi Nashville Brandons. Hollis is an academic, competitive, big city girl overachiever bent on surviving almost anything thrown at her. Reed is a fun-loving southern suburban prep school fraternity boy. <laughs> Notice the no socks. <laughs> Together, they make a beautiful couple. Their love for Jesus is the cornerstone of their relationship. It is this shared faith which has brought Reed Brandon and Hollis Bart together. Reed and Hollis have asked me to read the vows that they have written to each other. They've written, I promise to seek and serve the Lord, to use that strength to love you, honor you. I promise to speak honestly and forgive quickly. It is to you that I give my heart joyfully and freely forever. So do you, Hollis, and do you, Reed, agree to uphold this pledge? I do. I do. In light of the Lord's providence, I now pronounce you husband and wife, and Reed, we all encourage you to kiss your bride.
Reed, Hollis, I love the hell out of you guys. I'm so freaking stoked to be here. I think we're gonna have a great night in store for us. And God damn it, I'm so excited to finally call Reed my brother. So let's fire it up. Join me for the very first time in welcoming Mr. and Mrs. Reed Brandon to the dance floor. Good evening, everyone. Hollis, you look absolutely stunning. Yeah! <laughs> Hollis was homeschooled through elementary school. She was immersed in diversity, which shaped her unique perspective, creativity, and wonderful sense of humor. She was typically the only girl on an all-boys team, participated at every level, and learned to survive. Hollis has got game. came into my life when we were 20 years old in the middle of South Central LA. Now picture 21-year-old Hollis romping around in like a Biggie t-shirt, blasting her cool like punk rock music, spreading out in the living room, writing poetry with her awesome hipster friends. She is a stunner in more ways than one, and she is hands down the most authentic, original, and genuine person I've ever met. If I could give one woman that doesn't fit a stereotype, it's Hollis Mary Barth. Reed has quickly become a very valuable asset in my life. This is how we met. He walks in, this had to be six foot 11, Abercrombie and Fitch hair, Calvin Klein model looking guy. And he's just the life of the party. He's high-fiving everybody. Reed, your personality is infectious. Your sense of humor is out of this world. And man, your heart is deeper than any body of water on this planet. All of his life, Reed has been a person who has brought people together. And it was the sweetest thing, and our house was open, and Reed Brandon filled it with love and people. Hollis called me about a month after she met Reed. And she was like, I think I found the one. So once I came down to Nashville, I not only saw the way he looked at her and she was crazy about him, but I realized that movie, firework kind of love, it exists and it's right here. It's beautiful. Hollis, you got a good one, I'll tell you that. But Reed, you got an even better one. You do. I can't wait to learn and grow and gain a sister and just spend life with you guys. Reed Dallas, we love you like crazy. You are good people and you are gonna do amazing things together and we love you. I love you to the moon and back, both of you. You guys are one hell of a pair. I can't wait to see the things you guys create and how you change the world together. I'm just honored. I'm honored to be here. I'm honored to be in this moment. Gosh, it's so exciting to think about joining our lives together. Being able to start my day and end my day with you is going to be the greatest blessing. I love you. 
and I promise to keep loving you. Dear Reed, I didn't think I would find someone like you, honestly, someone who shares my lust for life and who gets unreasonably happy at the prospect of rooftops and records, things well written, a man with soul, a man with the ability to feel joys and sorrows and life's sharpness and simplicities. This quality, or essence rather, is very important to me. It's one of the most profoundly attractive things about you. More than anyone I've ever met, you understand things on a soul level. But more importantly, you understand me in a way that I didn't know I needed. I love being up against the world with you, Reed. I love you.